One. This is Terrence Gangster William, aka OG Giggity, aka Mr. Answer Right Back, aka the People's Champ. Turn to the week. Now, this man was caught saying this. Y'all check it out. These Illuminati. That's why. That's why. That's why. Fucking Cardi B was over there. Cardi B is a plant by the Illuminati. She don't write her raps. She just did it like sound as ignorant as possible and just and then make songs. Like now, do y'all think that Kanye knew he was being recorded? Y'all think he knew that? And another thing, I need help with this. What in the world is a plant? What? Why? What do you mean? Cardi B is a plant? The, you know, like, like what's going? What are you trying to say? Cardi uh, Five, right? See, right? Cardi. I know he cut for Nicki. Him and Nicki did that song "Monsters." Man, Nicki crushed that song. But Kanye was speaking from the heart. And, you know, it's about a lot of this Illuminati stuff and a lot of this plants and people. Place here and there, they put her this and that. What this is the only thing I don't get when he say Cardi a plant, but yet she ain't all she doing is dropping hits, getting on songs, doing what she do. Like, what is she doing for him to say something like that? And what does a, what do a plant? I know a plant grow. What with, with the plant, the plant they be talking about, what do that plant do? Yeah, like, that's help me out with this now. And a lot of people. Don't write their rhymes, but they go platinum and people like them. So when he said that, I was like, hold up, what that got to do with anything? Like, you know, I mean, we like her as a person, you know, we like her personality. A lot of people can relate to her, she being herself. But um, when he said about her taking over Nikki's spot, Nikki was still doing her thing. They were doing, they just, people, see, Cody had it the best of both worlds. Like, she a Latino, so the, Lat the Latinos gonna represent theirs because you know people be like, you want one hours in the rap game doing anything, and then the blacks gonna support her because one thing about black we we support everybody, black, white, Chinese, tall, midges, we support everybody. So that's not shocking. You no, know, is still got her fan base. Nick is still stepping in this industry, but. When he said the people put her there and she don't write her rhymes. Bro, I write for Birdman, bro. I done wrote some hits for Birdman. I done wrote some of the Wayne stuff that caught her. The one, I mean, not the one. The two, three, all the ones that was hot. That's the one I wrote. Put it like that. Um, Gold D, that was me. The Fire Man, that was me. I was in that cell, pinning, going in, Weezy Hill, calling on the phone. And he don't pick up, then I gotta call back three more times. Man, when you, oh man, the music like, man, I heard you pick up. All right, but don't worry about this. Rap it like this, Weezy. That was me. All that hard work, man. Bro, listen, let me tell you something. I used to write so much for Weezy and Birdman to where I couldn't go to wreck and work out. I couldn't go pump the chest up, get the arms swole like I want, do the burpees and all that, because I used to be in there writing. I used to be myself writing, man, making sure. Cash money is a success. That's what I was doing. But back to the plan. Because I don't want to keep talking about that. When I think about that, man, I get a little upset. Um, you know, because I ain't getting nothing. Uh, I don't have no platinum plaques. I don't have nothing to show for it. Or, um, I got done dirt on that issue. I ain't think to copyright my rhymes. So I know y'all know who you way. Anyway, so anyway, let's get to the plan. Because, uh. It's a lot of money being old. Anyway, so, yeah, so, I wanted to get Cardi B response. You know, Cardi don't be playing. But, Kanye, a big dog in the game. Kanye been speaking his mind. About Kanye been letting, you know, telling it how it is. So, I don't know if Kai, uh, Cardi feel like she wanted that drama with Kanye. But Cardi usually speak out. She was on play. She was on, she don't have no filter. So, Maybe I didn't get it. Y'all didn't send it to me. Or maybe my people might feel like, oh, he might not be interested. I'm, I'm sending it. 
I need to see what she said. I need to see if she answered yay back. Or did her husband answer back? Hubby might have stepped in like, man, don't play with the wife. You like that play, boy. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I don't know. I need to know what happened with that situation because he just was going in. And whoever was right there, they was recording on some cutthroat, low-down stuff anyway. The, get them. Be for them haters. Um, but for him to snap like that and if somebody well, that was recording, I wonder who that was recording. And then it leaked out. Oh, they got some shit, man. They not bad, but yeah, man. So I didn't know what that mean, what he mean by that, and what they called it do for him to say that. Like, help me, help me understand this stuff. What does that mean? Like, who else in the industry that have that charge? And what did the person do to get the charge for them to say that? Like, who started this? Where did this come from? Because there's a lot of new stuff that's going on out here that I need to be up, you know, put in, give, give me an update on this stuff, man. You know, man, go on a while. Yeah, help me out. Like, uh, <laughs> when I first come home, Slim say, he said, uh, he said, you got a snack? I say, man, snack, yeah, I got plenty. I went to Walmart, got, nah, man, I'm talking about, he said, you got you a broad in there? That's what they call him now, a snack. I said, oh, yeah. I don't know what they call him a snack, right? Okay. Then, tonight, I get a phone call from my son. Dad, what you doing, man? Nothing, I'm chilling, bro. You no, know, um, I went to the fair. Yeah, I went to the fair, and, uh, what about you? I'm by myself, yeah. Hanging out, chilling. All right, Dad, well, um, I'm going to let you finish with, uh, talking to your cake. Cake? What the world? Man, to your female, you you, you don't go in and call you, finish talking to your girls. I said, oh, man, come on, man. You too old, man. You don't know that. You up, I got to put you up on game. I said, nah, son, I don't want to know that game. That's uh, Y'all making up some goofy stuff. Cake, talk to the cake. I'm thinking to my cake in the store or something. He talking about they call the woman a cake. Anyway, around, but I still need to know their lingo because I need to be able to pull up, talk to these youngsters, talk their lingo, and I grab their attention. Then I let them know, hey, you gotta get rid of that hood virus. You don't wanna go to jail. You don't wanna play this game. But the rap game, man. Got a lot of hood politics have infiltrated the rap game. And now the rap game is starting to seem like you can't go there for entertainment no more. Now it's like the, it's like the streets now. You know, everybody got their favoritism, everybody picking sides. Um I see one person talking about this, one person talking about that, then this one hanging with this one, this one hanging with that one. They flicking up, they just cutting up, they doing what they do. But they enjoying themselves. That's a good. That's what I like. That's what I like. They they enjoying themselves. That's the main thing. Enjoy yourself. But I need somebody to let me know that Cardi B answered Kanye West back. I didn't know about that because West was going in and he don't approve of the people um, putting Cardi B in that spot like that. He he don't he need answers. He need answers, and I need answers. I need to know about this plant, and I need to know they called to answer him back, or she just didn't care. She just was like, you know, that's just Kanye going on one and look. You know how he like to just go off sometimes. So y'all need to let me know that Ye, I mean, did uh, Cardi answer Ye back. Where we at? All right. Y'all know my motto. Let's say no to drill. Let's stop the violence. Put the guns down. Make sure y'all get tested for HIV and AIDS because y'all need to know y'all's status. Um, we got the nonprofit. They need us. The Instagram. They need us. Third Ward. The movie. The boys at war. My brother Khalid. I don't uh, Cali. He he um hooked me up. Shout out to Doctor Joe Marshall. Shout out to Doctor Joe Marshall. Um, he got some really, really good stuff going on out there in Cali. And I'm about to pull up 
because I need to get some of that game. I need to get um, educated on a lot of stuff for my nonprofit. You know, so I'm, I'm rubbing it. I'm rubbing what you call this thing right here? Shoulders. Not elbow. I'm rubbing shoulders. What was that? What's going on up in here? You know, with the big people now. That's right. I got invited, y'all. So uh, y'all stay tuned. I let y'all know what I went. What I went with the class. I got a three day class. I gotta go and pull up. You know, I gotta go to this class. So I can learn some stuff, and I'm gonna share it with you guys. That's right. I'm gonna share it with you guys. But um, I got my fly squatters on sale. I got them on sale now. Y'all need to get them while they on sale. I'm, you know, they go for five thousand. I got them on sale for. Uh, I'm a, I was going to do 2,500, right? But then I was like, no, because it's a lot of gnats and there's a lot of stuff in the um, YouTube world, Instagram world that be bothering different people. And I know they really need these going to come in handy. So I was like, you know what? $4,999 on sale. Make sure y'all get y'all because this is, yo. Y'all gonna pop, 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 pop. Y'all gonna need it. Um, but thank y'all for all love support. I really appreciate it. I'm out. Wow.